In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. In consequence, I'm inclined to reserve all judgments, a habit that has opened up many curious natures to me, and also made me the victim of not a few veteran wars. Upon returning from the East last summer, I was disgusted. I was convinced that everyone I met there was in the Only Gatsby, the man who gives his name to this fable, is exempt from my reaction. Gatsby, who represented everything for which I had an unaffected score. His personality is an unbroken series of successful gestures. Then there is something gorgeous about him. Some heightened sensitivity to the promise of life. As if you were related to one of those intricate machines that register earthquakes tens of thousands of miles away. In the summer of 1922, I decided to travel east to New York and learn the bonds business. Everyone I knew was in bonds, so I figured I could support one more single man. Located about 20 miles from the city, the two peninsulas called the Egg which were separated by a body of water. I lived at West End, the less fashionable of the city. Across the body of water was East End, and the fable of my summer in New York really begins when I drove over there to have dinner with the Buchanan's. Daisy was my second cousin, once removed, and I had known Tom in college. Her husband, among various physical accomplishments, had been one of the most powerful ends that ever played football. His family was enormously wealthy. Why they came east? I don't know. But they always drifted here or there. I had no sight into Daisy's heart, but I felt that Tom would drift on forever, seeking a little wistfully for the dramatic turbulence of some irrecoverable football game.
just in Chicago. They said dozen people sang of their love. Did they miss me? The town is silent. They're all dressed in black, as if to mourn you. Oh, gorgeous. Let's go back, Tom. Tomorrow. Well, Nikki, you ought to see the baby. Oh. She's asleep right now. I'd love to see her. Oh, you ought to. She's two years old now. She's... So, Nick, what are you doing? I'm the bonds business. Well, and I'm stiff. I've been sitting on this couch all afternoon. Well, don't look at me. I've been trying to get you to New York all afternoon. Hmm. Say, uh, you look familiar. You live in West End? I know somebody there. I don't know a single person. Well, you must know Gatsby. Gatsby? What can't speak? Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is ready. I'm glad it's a girl. 
And I hope she'll be a fool. It's the best thing a girl can be in this world, a beautiful little fool. You see, I think everything's terrible anyhow. Everybody thinks so, the most advanced people, and I know. I've been everywhere, seen everything, done everything. Yes. 